Hey, Lori. Hi, everybody. It's Pastor Meredith with Douglas oh. Adams United Methodist Church. Lori, what's going on over there? Well, um, our internet went out. So I'm trying to do this on my phone. I see you great, but I'm like itty bitty teeny tiny. I mean, I could I could have something hanging out of my nose and I wouldn't know. Oh, so no, means I'm going to have to grab my glasses. Oh, that is so frustrating. Is that, no, I'm <laughs> sorry. I bet everybody here can can commiserate with you about when the internet goes out. Well, welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. It is Celebrate Wonder. It is week 10. We may be a little bit frustrated, but we are here. I, of course, I'm Pastor Meredith of Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And there's Miss Laurie and Laud the Lamb and Mortimer as they're working out their internet things. Um, we're glad that you are here though with us. And if you need an activity kit for Celebrate Wonder, just let us know in the church office because we'd love to get you connected up with one of those uh, so that you can fully participate in Celebrate Wonder. But we're going to um, need to go to our wonder tables. Should we have a prayer together to just kind of settle ourselves a little bit? Laud, would that be helpful? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes a prayer is a good thing to do. We're going to be talking mm -hmm. about prayer here. So everybody, let's mm -hmm. take a deep breath. Oh, dear God, we know that you are with us when we're frustrated. And so we ask for your help right now as we get ready to celebrate wonder. Help Miss Laurie not be so frustrated and Laud and Mortimer, and um, bless this time that we have together because we're glad to be here with our friends. Amen. 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 Okay, everybody, head to your wonder table. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, welcome to week 10. We're at our wonder table now. I know I was really frustrated earlier, I might still be a little frustrated because I'm doing this on my phone. I know I should be really thankful that, you know, there was a second option. Without internet, I could use my phone. So I'm trying to think positive about that right now. Yeah. We're trying. You're doing great, Ms. So Lord. we're gonna light our <laughs> You're doing we're great. gonna light our candle. Okay, here we go. We're not gonna light the lamb. Remember, we're gonna light the candle. Maybe. I am not doing well here today. Okay, it lit. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So we have a new word. I don't know if you've noticed, Mortimer here is holding our new word, guide. Mm -hmm. Guide. Do you know anybody that is a guide, Pastor Meredith? You know, I do. You know, guide is uh, showing the way, right? And we're going to be talking about that with Jesus, of course. But I know a couple of people who are guides in other ways. Um, I know somebody named Rich who helps people go fishing. He's a fishing guide. So he takes people and shows them where all the good fish are. And I know another person named Kelly and she loves to hike and she guides people on hiking adventures and shows them the way so that they can hike. Do you know anybody that's a guide, Miss Laurie and Maude? Well, yeah. I know my brother has been a guide out at New Salem and has helped people learn at New Salem. What about you, Laud? Oh, well, yeah. He just said, you know, he's known sh some shepherds that were pretty good guides. Yeah. Good, good work, Laud. That's true. Shepherds help guide sheep. Mm -hmm. Well, our Bible story today, and we hope that everybody will read it very carefully in your Bibles, in your household. It is in Matthew chapter six, verses five through 15. And this is a wonderful um, telling of the Lord's prayer, which is something we often say together in church. But in this part of the story in Matthew, Jesus is teaching lots of people all kinds of things about God and love and how to live as God wants us to live. 
when he does a whole teaching about prayer and Jesus says things like, you know, when you pray, you should really be praying, not like to show off before other people, but maybe you need to do that in quiet on your, by yourself so that you don't, uh, aren't showing off, but that you're really building your time with God and praying with God and building that relationship and that you're able to concentrate on other people and what they need in your prayers. And then Jesus says he gives he gives us a special prayer that we call the lord's prayer it's the only time in the bible where jesus prays specific words and says you should pray this way and in the gospel of matthew it sounds like this and i bet we get to hear it again uh, later on in our bible story time but jesus says you should pray this way our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Does that sound familiar, Miss Laurie? It does, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It sure does. And he goes on to say, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those, as we forgive our debtors and do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. And this is how we've come to have the Lord's prayer together that we often say together in church and that people uh, use all kinds of times for praying, which is very cool. And it serves to us as a, like a guide almost, doesn't it? On, on how it is that Jesus would have us pray. Not so much you have to pray these words all the time, but to pray to God, to uh, grow in our faith, to have what we need and for others to have what they need. Pretty cool. Should we roll our wonder cube and uh, hopefully if you still have your wonder cube at home, you'll spend some time and roll the cube and find a question. Here goes mine. Woo, it rolled off. Mine says, <laughs> I wonder, it's back. I wonder what is the most important part of the Bible story? I think the most important part is just Jesus showing us a way to pray. What do you roll there, Miss Laurie? What have you got? For your Let's see. Okay, what do you think, Claude? Ready? Oh, I got the same one you got. Let's see. Let's try. Oh. Hmm. I wonder, what would you change about the Bible story? Hmm. I'm not sure I would change anything. Yeah. That's because I thought that was a really, really good way to think about praying. Yeah, we have some more questions. He agrees. We, he agrees. We hope that you as in your household will use your activity kit and, and, and ask some of the questions that are in the wonder together. Um, one of them I think is really cool. Let's talk about this for a second, Miss Laurie, is what part of the Lord's Prayer do you think is the most important? I'm thinking about the um, part where Jesus says, forgive us our debts as we forgive those who, uh, as those who uh, we are indebted to, or forgive us our trespasses as we are, as we forgive those who trespass mm -hmm. against us. There's one line in there that I always have to remind myself a lot of times where it says, thy will be done, meaning mm, he's in charge, not me. Mm. Nice. Some things we just can't control. Yeah. Like the internet. <laughs> like the internet. I'm sorry. I'm stuck on that. <laughs> That's okay. Well, it's okay. We, we hope that you will uh, turn next. We're going to turn next to our Bible story that we have, our Bible story video. It's going to talk more about Jesus as our guide and about the Lord's prayer as a way to help guide us in prayer. But shall we say a prayer together before we head off on onto our Bible story? Yes, I think so. Are you ready, Pastor Meredith? I'm ready. I can start. Okay. Okay. Dear God. Dear God. Please, please be our guide. Please be our guide. Amen. Amen. Yay. Right. Yay. So we're going to watch our Bible story video. We'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay. Bye-bye.
Hello friends, I am Samuel. Let's wonder together. Today we're going to be talking about the Lord's Prayer. Jesus talks about prayer a lot, so we know that it's really important. This prayer is special because it's the only time in the Bible that Jesus gives us specific words to pray. The Lord's Prayer is Jesus' way of offering a guide for prayer. Did you know that all of us can pray? Prayer is for everyone, and you can do it by yourself or with others. God wants to talk to all of us. Prayer is not about performing in front of people or having the perfect words to say. Nobody gets an award for the best prayer. We're all invited to talk to God and have a relationship with God. Friends, prayer is so important. You can pray for yourself, your friends, your family, your community, and your world. God cares about all of it. There is a lot of different ways to pray. Sometimes you can pray by just sitting and breathing, focusing on God. Other times you might take a walk through nature or sing a song. Maybe you want to write a letter, draw a picture, or read a poem as prayer. All of those are great ways to pray. If you're having a hard time finding a place to begin, the Lord's Prayer is a great guide. It can give you some words to start with if you're having a hard time thinking of what to say. My favorite part is that the Lord's Prayer connects us to the same words Jesus prayed. When we say these words, we are connected to Jesus and so many other Christians who have prayed the same prayer. In different parts of the world and in different languages, people are praying the same words that I'm praying. It feels comforting knowing that these words connect me to God and others. That is so cool. Now it's your turn to wonder. Hello, everybody. Our activity this week, in your activity kit, you should have a brand new thing of Post-its, okay? So you'll need your Post-its and you're gonna need something to write with. And we are going to make a prayer wall or a prayer door or a prayer desk, however you want to arrange them. But you're gonna write as you think of different things to pray for, you're gonna write your prayer on the post-it and you'll stick it on the wall or wherever you would like. So we're gonna get started here and I'm gonna think of something to pray for. Let's see, Vlad, can you help me here? Yes, okay. Hmm. Oh, I thought of something. I... Pray for the health of my kids. So there's one right now. I think I, think I might stick mine on, on, on Morty here. It can be helpful. Um, oh, and this is one that we're probably all kind of secretly praying for. Warm weather. So that can be one. And you can just keep going. You can, you've got enough post-its here. You could cover a whole wall. So think about things. And as you think about them that you want to pray for, write them on here, stick them on a wall. So have fun and good luck. Happy thinking and praying. Hi, grownups. It is time for our spiritual practice for this week. And it's a really good one. Now, I'll bet a lot of you learned the Lord's Prayer as a small child and have been saying that maybe for a long time. Maybe you've never learned the Lord's Prayer. Well, this is a good week for us to work with the Lord's Prayer together. You, of course, can find it in the Bible in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 15. It's contained in that. That's our Bible story for this week. But I'll bet a lot of you know it by heart. So I'm going to invite, what we're going to encourage you to do is say the Lord's Prayer several times this week. And let's say it together right now. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I'm going to encourage you to say it several more times this week. And then after you've said it several times, then why don't you write down the Lord's Prayer in your own words? Let that have some uh, special meaning for you. Let that work in your heart. And then maybe you can share your version of the, your Lord's Prayer with your kids. And you can uh, share that together. And maybe you can learn to say the Lord's Prayer together as well. So I encourage you uh, this week, adults, to say the Lord's Prayer often. And then do that practice of writing the Lord's Prayer in your own words. Good praying to everyone. Okay. Thank you guys for joining us for week 10 of Celebrate Wonder. Um, we need to do our celebration chart. Don't forget to fill these things in as you're doing them. Because that's always fun. And it's a nice reminder too. So we are going to do a special sort of prayer practice together. Okay. So imagine right now, we're all sitting in a great big circle and taking turns, getting to share a prayer. So at the end of each person's prayer, we're going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Laud and I and Mortimer will pray first. Here we go. Dear Lord, I am praying for safe return from school for my kids. Lord, hear Lord, our, prayer. our prayer. And I am praying for everybody who is experiencing homelessness right now. And it's really cold outside. Mm -hmm. A safe place and a warm place to be. Lord, Hear our prayer. Now you guys take a minute to share a prayer. Okay, Lord, hear our prayer. It's Let's a really one. nice, good, kind more. of quieting thing. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more. Say one more, you guys. Lord, hear our prayer. Good job. Wonderful. Well, I think we, we've got some announcements right now, don't we? We do. So mm -hmm. next Wednesday, we're going to be taking a break from our Celebrate Wonder video because it is Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent. So we hope that you'll tune in at 7 p.m. for our Ash Wednesday, uh, Ash Wednesday service that'll be online. And you can also uh, come by the church in the back parking lot of Douglas Avenue on Ash Wednesday, next Wednesday, which is February 18th, 15, no, 17th, sorry, February 17th, um, between four and six. If you'd like to, you can pick up a Lenten kit and you can also receive some ashes in a very safe way outside in the parking lot. And we'll have, so we'll have those Lenten kits and ashes next Wednesday in the parking lot from four to six and then online service at seven. You can also pick up Lent kits this Saturday from 10 to noon in the back parking lot. And this Saturday is February 13th. So you can pick up a special Lent kit that'll help with online worship and some other things with Lent. So join us for those things. And then it's time to sing, isn't it, Miss Laurie? It is time to sing. Excellent. We have a new song and I want to make sure I tell you the, the, the right name of it. So stick around here for a few minutes for our song, Follow As You Go. Goes along with guide. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks everybody. Bye guys. No.
Sun. 